Now, many people don't see being rejected from medicine as a possibility until it's too late. An estimated 23,000 people applied to medicine in the UK in 2019, out of which only close to 8,500 were accepted as medical students. Applying to medicine isn't as easy as pulling out your books and organising your notes and you have a place. Things get more difficult than that, way more difficult. Never mind London medical school universities, where by being at the lower end of medical students or the average student isn't enough, even some of the most intelligent are refused time to time. Welcome back guys, now I'm Kurinjista, first year medical student studying at Queen Mary University in London this year. I make videos on productivity, balancing gym and help students on the medicine application process. I'm an advocate for theism and my main aim is to help people live a happy and healthy life and I'm hoping I can bring you on the journey with me. So welcome back, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, hope everyone's doing well and this video is going to be mega mega deep, I can't lie to you, today's video isn't the standard video so if you're here to watch more of an upbeat video then check out my other videos. Now naturally many people don't make it in the first year and I know it's going to be difficult, I know that the confidence is going to go down and you're going to feel a little bit lost naturally. Wallah is fine. Like I said, if you're here for medicine interview tip, then go check out the playlist with five videos with five different medical schools from my university. If you're here to get everything that you probably need for the medicine interview, then I do have an ebook and the sponsor of this video is MedShark, my own company. Obviously MedShark helped over 900 students for the UK CAT and I know it seems like, sure, but Wallahi, I'm being real. You know, I don't like making myself out to be something big, but the book is good, do you understand? I'm not, I'm not amazing, but the book is good. And the last thing before we get into the video is actually 349, so it's not even that expensive. Like I've said, this video is more of the advice that I would give a friend. Okay guys, so Wallahi, I actually forgot to mention something. I was gonna say, actually, I actually look pretty good in this smoke. <laughs> anyway, so I was actually gonna say, um, I'm, I'm really, really sorry for interrupting, is that this video is gonna be very long. It's not gonna be boring, so don't click off, but I'm just saying, grab your coffee, grab a snack, sit down, and especially, I think the, the majority of people that this is their case, are probably gonna watch it to its entirety. But you can probably tell throughout the video that it means a lot to me, do you understand? So it's not necessarily the most hyped up video, but it's it's deep so if you pay attention hopefully you'll, you'll benefit majorly from it um, and that's about it hopefully you'll get the tips I do change scenes the time bars at the top and uh, that's about it but remember just sit down chill um, because you're probably going to contemplate on it as it is so hopefully this helps that was like some flop of a wink but the first advice that I'd go, I'd go on to is that you need to realise what boat are you in now if you've been here since day one you know that I've made a Q&A series and this was essentially my thoughts before even entering medical school, school like I didn't even know if I was going to make it in to be fair due to the Rona um, you know if you say the word then the YouTube does something to your video but it's mad and so if you are to watch some of those videos you'll see the way that I'm thinking especially back then because trust me I was a little bit lost I can't lie and naturally a lot of views will be now going through it systematically if you had the offer but you didn't meet the grades you know what to do and this video isn't really for you you know that potentially you're gonna have to retake the exams prepare and all that sort of stuff but you already like smashed the medicine interview so you've done probably the hardest thing when it comes to applying to med because the grades will come inshallah ta'ala and there may be the consideration of going abroad that I'll speak about in a bit um, but as of now, I'd say that if you want to stay in the UK, you probably are going to have to reset the A-levels. Now, at the end of this video, I'm actually going to have Abu Torab to, oh my God, my chest hair. Um, I'm going to have Abu Torab that inshallah is going to give some tips. So make sure you stay until that or go check out the massive massive tip at the end of the video just to bring you at a better mood now getting back onto the video if you had no offers this year and well is gonna be tough i'm not gonna say i understand how that's gonna feel but from what i've seen people gone through that do you tell me it's like it's gonna what i've seen like online and that sort of stuff is that it's gonna be massively tough but retrospectively speaking many of them say that the gap year is the best year that they've gone through many people work as a hca which is like um, a healthcare assistant many people work as like a phlebotomist which is like the person who takes bloods from you um for that year so they qualify for a phlebotomist and hca i don't think you need any qualifications as of such and so they earn a little bit of money but the one thing to understand is that within this year or within this gap year it is the majority 
Like the way to put it is that the majority of people that were sort of iffy about applying to medicine will be eliminated. So if you didn't get your offer but and you were unsure about medicine, most likely the vast majority of people will either go into another degree, whether it be like biomedical scientist to become a biomedical scientist, or maybe they're going to physiotherapy, or maybe they'll go into biology and so on and so forth. So it's like the realist ones that actually want to do medicine will stay and try to get into medicine again. So it's in this year that you really make an assessment as to whether medicine is for you and like I'm saying four rejections are gonna hit hard especially if you tried your all but don't worry inshallah ta'ala this year or the year that you're applying again you'll mark it just to ensure that you get the ebook now going on to the other tip now being mega real with you you know that potentially all four of your rejections may not be via interview so if it's not maybe it's your personal statement so you're gonna have to go check that out send that to many people as many people do you find make sure they give you feedback if they've gotten into medicine when tell them to send you theirs and go check out out, for example the 12 personal statement ebook that personal statement ebook that i have on my website my truck it's what it just seems like i'm blogging it 24 7 and it just feels uncomfortable but i'm telling you that like, because this really really does help and it's a degree to what i've done myself so that's the reason why I'm, I'm giving you like personal advice and uh alhamdulillah it's worked for me and it's worked for many people so i just hope you implement but if it's for the ucat then potentially you need to go get tips so i'd say again go get the ucat ebook because it has a ton of tips that have been done by so many people and alhamdulillah it's helped a lot of people now if it's for interview practice then you know what to do then it's just practice go watch my videos practice some more find friends who will give you tips or potentially tips that you haven't heard in some of the videos and just ensure that you take it super super serious this time usually there's a degree of negligence when it comes to the first year in the application cycle then you're probably thinking like you know it's fine inshallah i'll get into med and you don't give it your all and then you realize that a lot of your friends leave you and wallahi the feeling is just mad like feeling like you're one year left behind is probably one of the worst feelings it's a massive blow to your confidence like i've said but one small tip perception ish that you should think about it is that one of the reasons why i applied to queen mary university of london is one because it's local and i live here but two because it's a five-year course instead of six so potentially if you were to apply to qm ul um queen mary university of london instead of applying to for example kcl king's uh, college london is that you'd finish one year earlier conventionally because intercalation from now i think doesn't mean anything anymore so you won't get points that will help your hospital so subhanallah little did i know that inshallah ta'ala i'd finish one year earlier than my friends that i knew that were in my sixth form in the same year went into kings i'd finish one year earlier than them so it could still mean that if you go be merry that you finish at the same time as your peers so do you see what i'm saying so in a sense you have sort of saved the year as well now some of you may be saying i want a practical tip that inshallah ta'ala you'll be able to implement almost off the boat now the first tip that i'd give is now you know for example maybe you applied to universities that require a score of 700 plus and you didn't get it for the UCAT you know you're going to do like targeted selection so you're going to make sure that you have the greatest opportunity to get into medicine as available so potentially last time maybe you applied to universities that are close to you but your strength are not in that field for example the UCAT unless you got a score of like high 600s or low 700s or high 700s then you shouldn't really apply to be fair this is just my advice obviously you can do what you want and then get rejected um but well i just sound like a savage sorry but hopefully you understand what i'm saying so it's just go check out the scores on what do they know because that will really allow you to see the average scores that people do get when they get into medicine so the thing that i would say is like tactically apply do remember that a lot of people don't necessarily want to get into medicine close to them but they may want to move out obviously it's arguable with that um like if that's a good thing because it's not just about medicine it could be about your mental health your like spiritual health if that's what you want to call it as people tend evil when they go far far away but again a lot of people do just want to study medicine so it can be anywhere in the uk so potentially you choose universities that you're more likely to get into another thing that i would tell you is that remember this year doesn't mean that you've lost a year in your life you're not in jail or something like that or even within jail sometimes it's not necessarily you lose years of your life it's just you know like uh 
you might learn certain traits it's just the aim is obviously not to drop this remember you can work as a hca you can work as a phlebotomist you can even go abroad to study the arabic language many brothers actually do go abroad and they study the arabic language mainly a day standard that they go through there are a massive extensive list of opportunities that you can take up now one perspective shift that is so so important is that remember medicine isn't your whole life like if the profession is taken away from you doesn't mean that now you're without purpose and this is so so important man there's some people that honestly turn depressed some people that feel like there's no meaning to their life no more within that year because they feel like they've been buried alive like like i was just basically mentioning yes use it as a springboard for you to reapply but do not and i'm telling you this because i don't want no one to watch my video and then you know like, do something bad or do something silly to themselves remember you have value it's just it hasn't worked out this year. It doesn't mean that you have no value. And I hope and I hope that's clear, basically. Yeah. Inshallah. Okay, so basically a quick seven tips that I'd give you an inshallah ta'ala. After these seven tips, I think the video will be a wrap-up. Well, I'll give this basically to Abitoro. The first one I was going to say is, like I've said, allow this to develop a determination or essentially a fuel to keep you going and reapplying. That's number one. Number two, remember that you can get skills that inshallah ta'ala will help you develop as a person and not necessarily skills as a doctor. So you might do volunteering at a care home for a whole year or you may be working as a HCA like I've mentioned. And via this, you will have another, another perception or another perspective on how the healthcare team works. Potentially, if you're working in a hospital, you might get treated like... I don't want to swear because I don't swear but like the word that's coming to my head is you're going to get treated very very badly basically. and now you'll know that when you're a doctor or when you become a doctor inshallah that you know not to treat this person like that you don't want to be treated the way you were treated and I know that sounds a little bit wishy-washy but that's tip number two tip number three is that remember if you got rejected via email or after an interview you can always ask for feedback sometimes they may give it sometimes they may not if you know why the university has rejected you then inshallah you'll know exactly what to improve so email them and that's tip number three four you need to realize this qadr pre predestination remember potentially it could have been a case that maybe you met someone in university that was harmful to your health it could have been or could have meant oh, my english is just flopping um but it could have meant that that person may have led you down a route that is harmful to your health maybe they were a dropout and sort of gonna force you to drop out with them maybe they were a drug addict maybe they were the maddest maybe they were out there to harm people and you don't know so it's like literally have faith in god that allah knows what potentially could have harmed you and so in this route potentially now you're looking after a family member that is gonna die maybe you're spending more time with your mom your dad with their illness potentially if that's one of your reasons as to why medicine now tip number six and it's probably a big thing and i know i might get some hate for this but you know honestly i don't care about the hate like i'm there i'm gonna give you tips i'm gonna be real with you shout out to Allah. and it's that once you apply for the first time and you've got rejected then you apply for the second and you've got rejected again and then you're gonna apply for the third and you get rejected again it's probably not for you then i'd say yes there is an option and this is what i wanted to mention is that yes there's an option of graduate entry where you can do a course and do it again and potentially you might get more skills or more of a reason as to why the interviewers might let you in but remember grad medicine is more difficult than undergraduate medicine so you know potentially you could change within those two years yes the advice that i would give is that after you've applied two three times whether it be after graduate medicine or undergraduate medicine is stop you know like some people say keep going but how long are you going to put your life on hold for let's be real let's just say you want to get married let's just say you you want to start a family you're going to have to start working um naturally unless you're going to be living off benefits which i'm not saying is a bad thing and we were like my family were but it's not ideal like as a man you don't want that you want to be earning that money you want to be taking care of your family members like fully just it's just something innate and um, I don't know where to put it but it's just find something else and uh, that's the advice that I would give personally that after you've applied three years in a row it's probably time to stop I probably would stop earlier to be fair like some people it means a lot to them potentially their whole family are doctors so they don't want to be the odd one out um do you remember you can go abroad as well so i know many people that for example for dentistry i actually know one person personally like i know him as my boy um that's gone to bulgaria bulgaria 
I think he's gone Bulgaria or Hungary. But I think it's Bulgaria without that or Romania. And and I mentioned this in one of the old podcasts that I mentioned. I didn't know Abitorab told me. And like he was speaking to me about the application process. And now he's actually studying dentistry there. It's like almost the same. And so he's going to be done rapid. And it's potentially cheaper over there as well. So that's one thing to consider. Now one point that I'd like to conclude with is that remember medicine. And I'm saying this time and time again because... Rejection is tough, man. I'm not gonna lie to you. Rejection is definitely something tough and something that can that can hurt big time. And I know a lot of views might not have someone to give you that emotional solace. So it's like I'm acting like a like a big brother in a sense. And I know it sounds like so much trash. You know, it is what it is. Please take the advice. And the last advice I'm gonna give you is that one year is not that deep, man. When you when you realize that you're just one year behind behind i remember the advice i given kcl and kumo remember in the long term that you're going to be a doctor and when you're a doctor no one's going to ask you did you take a gap year did you not a doctor is a doctor and let's just say the average working age or the age of retirement is like i think 71 for a man imagine being 71 one year is not gonna is like nine months basically until you find out whether you're in or out it's not gonna mean that much to you especially it's not it's not like that's been taken from your life remember there's more to life than education everyone says it um and especially those that are on their self-help you know the believe achieve and all that rubbish that they tell you as well um but you know education opens up doors and this door is temporarily closed but inshallah ta'ala you're gonna open it so no stress okay guys so basically this whole whole video has been just like a normal conversation that i would have with a person that i know and care about so if you have benefited it from it then inshallah please drop a message i'm not even what message emoji shit i told him to drop a blue love heart you know because i'm not gonna say red because red is moving a little bit mad but a blue love heart um uh but nonetheless i hope you have enjoyed the video and like i've said this video isn't how the usual videos are it's just that rejection means so much so yeah khair, inshallah ta'ala you know how this ends though yeah assalamu alaikum peace So one more thing is that you wanna buy, uh, you wanna get a girlfriend. Yeah. <laughs> That'll be in the video. <laughs> no, no, no. Right at the end, the bloopers. Mm -hmm.